Okay, we're going to continue with exercise five in Physio X10, looking at cardiovascular dynamics. In activity four, we're going to view uh, a couple of little uh, experiments on blood pressure and flow rate. So we've looked at radius, viscosity, length, and now blood pressure. So you can safely assume that those other three are going to be the constants in this particular activity. So let's get right to it. Again, there's the objectives you're going to want to read through, um, as well as answering some of those pre-lab questions. So uh, again, we're gonna be altering blood pressure. So the, up here at the top, radius, we're gonna leave at five millimeters, so pretty good size, and viscosity at 3.5 and length at 50. So these are gonna remain our constants and we're gonna be altering uh, pressure. So let's go through and see, it's gonna start us at 25, just like we did last video. We're gonna go to the end and see exactly how high they're gonna, they want us to go to 50. And they want us to go all the way up to 200. So we're gonna go from 25 to 200 in increments of 25. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna start at 25. 25 millimeters of mercury of pressure, record data, and that's our flow rate. So let's refill. And as that refills, uh, we're gonna bump the pressure up to 50. And we see flow rate increases as we increase pressure. Notice it doubled, we doubled the pressure. Okay. So we're gonna go up to 75, record data, refill. So we went up 20, let's do uh, another one. We're gonna go all the way up to 200, but there is a, a little bit of a pattern here. Um, as we increase 25 millimeters of mercury of pressure, let me scroll up just a hair. So we've, we've gone, started at 25, 35, went up to 50, went up to 70. So as we've increased by increments of 25, we see an increase in increments of flow rate of 35 millimeters of mercury. Okay. So keep that in mind as we go. So we're gonna refill that, go to 125, click start, record data, gives us a, again 35 uh, increase from 140 plus 35 is 175.2. So we could predict that going up another uh, 25 to 150 is gonna uh, add a 35 onto that. So we could potentially predict that uh, we're gonna have a flow rate of around 210 or so. so. Let's see if that's what ended up. And sure enough, 210.3. Okay, refill, and we're gonna increase the pressure up to 175. So we should see this go up to about 245. Okay, and sure enough, record data. And that's what we see, which we can also see here. And then our last one, we're gonna go to 200. Um, so we should probably see something to the, the, in the range of around 280. 35 uh, more than 245 is 280. So there we go, we collected all of our data. 25 uh, increments, uh, increase in pressure, 25 millimeters of mercury increment increases, saw a 35 milliliter per minute increase in flow rate. So we plot that data, look at that nice uh, line, very linear, very predictable, it may just go to infinity. Okay. Unlike what we saw with the radius, uh, di uh, uh, viscosity, and length, we saw those numbers start to kind of level off. We're not seeing that leveling off occur uh, here. So we see a, a more of a, a direct uh, proportion, uh, proportional increase in flow rate with blood pressure. So that's it, that's all uh, you needed to do for that one. Uh, again, you hit submit, answer uh, these post lab quiz questions if you like, submit, and then you're definitely gonna wanna answer these review questions.
submit. And again, takes you to the print screen. You've seen me do this several times. I'll do it again, just again to, to really drive it home that uh, you're able to stay within your PhysioX uh, lab the whole time. You don't have to open up any Word documents if you don't want to. You can if you'd like. Um, I do have uh, the Word document form. So anyway, there, there are those activities. So you can save them uh, as a PDF. So stay tuned for the next video. That's all for uh, activity four, uh, studying the effects of blood pressure on flow rate.